I've got this scene right here called Tower 01. Let's open that. I found this fantasy-like tower in my archive and uh, blew it up. I've got Sun and Sky set up in this scene and when rendered it looks like that. Definitely we want motion blur for these chunks. So let's set this up. Uh, for this scene I'll use uh, my passes system. So let's go to the passes tab and create normalized 2D motion vector. Move it to associated passes, rename and set max pixel displays to 720. That's because I have a resolution of 720 by 405. Then we need to go to the quality tab and set motion offset, motion back offset to 0. Uh, let's name our images and now we can render the sequence. Render menu, batch render. And here's the result. If you take a closer look, you'll notice that chunks with a ground behind them have some issues with edges, like this one, and those with the sky behind them don't. Uh, if you have a static background behind uh, fast-moving objects, that's a good idea to make it as a separate render, or at least to have a mask to separate it in the combined render. In this case, uh, the mask is uh, alpha channel. Uh, let's render this frame uh, we have a problem in. It's number 13. And take a look at its alpha. Uh, sky has no alpha and ground does. So let's make a simple test. We'll go to the hypershade and for the ground material we'll make a simple surface shader. Plug this Lambert into it. and set out meta opacity to zero. That means alpha will be black. Now the ground plane has this surface shader material assigned. And re-render that. Now we have the same beauty, but in alpha channel, ground is black. The result of this we can see here. Uh, that's our old render with problem edges. And that's when we have uh, ground plane disabled. Alpha. I'll stop at this point. If you have any questions, that's my blog page. Uh, feel free to contact me. Thanks.